Hey, this is Sunil Manji, Senior Principal Solution Architect at Elastic. This is, a, again, a short video demonstration on ingesting data into Elasticsearch service, which is a cloud service. Um, and the scenario is uh, uh, you have files on, on Azure Blob Storage or Storage Blob, and you want to ingest that data set into Elastic Cloud. Now, there's many ways of doing this, and you know, file beats and log stash and things within the Elastic stack. But those of you that followed me in the past, you know I have a big data background and, and large scale distributed processing. I'm a big fan of um, Flink and, and Kafka and NiFi, obviously. And one of the things that I believe uh, is another tool in the ecosystem that I'm a big fan of for batch processing, which is Spark. Um, for, for, for streaming, definitely Flink, not so much Spark, but for batch processing, especially large files, I believe it's very hard to compete um, with the processing engine that Databricks provides, or at least what Spark provides. So for that, for that scenario, uh, let's say we have files on, on Blob Storage. We want to simply load, let's say, JSON files or CSV files. These could be large files. This is where Spark really shines. Um, and you, you don't want to go through the process of trying to grok your way through it and parsing. Like, the engine does a great job. It has libraries out of the box. It's, it's, it's almost beautiful. Um, and it builds a data frame. And, um, it builds a data frame, and with that data frame, uh, we are going to load Elastic search cloud service the entire notebook is available on my github repository which is sunil man elastic databricks uh, and if you go into load ess you'll see the example uh, the notebook we're going to jump into databricks uh, notebook here to go to the uh, to the example so here's my databricks notebook and here scroll zoom in just a little bit and um, I'm obfuscated obviously some of the things that I don't want to share in the public arena but what you'll need to do is uh, the first step and it's really simple is set your storage account name and your storage account access key um, there's also other ways of doing it your SAS signature things like that whatever you prefer this is my preferred method the next thing is you want to give it the file location so you get, give it the the ur uh, the url uh format is your storage container name at your storage um, account name at, you know blob core windows net and then also the file type so here i'm using json but you know it, it supports so much and there's so many libraries for csv xml and it, it's just unbelievable the amount of libraries out there for you to easily load data into a data frame the next thing you do uh is you want to set the the spark config comp and you don't have to do anything here. You don't have to change this, but it's basically using the storage account name, the storage account key, to make sure it has access. The next thing you do is you're, you're, you're reading, um, you're building a data frame, right? And scroll in here. What I do in the data frame is um, I'm, I'm reading the, the file format. Obviously, it's JSON. And I'm inferring the schema. Now, I like inferring schema because if it's pretty consistent, all the fields are populated, at least my data set is, the infer schema actually does a pretty darn good job. If you don't trust the infer schema, you can obviously give it a structure and say, here's this, here's the structure that you're going to use when you load the file and, and build the data frame. So many choices here, keeping it simple, you can set that to true. And then uh, lastly, um, it, it, what you do is you give it the WASB um, URL with the storage container name, storage account name, and path to the file, or path to directory, right? It could load everything in the directory. It doesn't have to be a particular file, which is and then lastly, uh, loading into Elasticsearch, super simple, right? You're using the, the library here. Now, uh, this library, you will have to go into the, um, uh, into the cluster, and I'll show you that in just a moment, where you load this library uh, through Maven. But uh, you also um, uh, give it your index name, your, your ESS endpoint, uh, your port, generally if you're using uh, the cloud uh, services 9243, um, your username and password, oops, I forgot that here, and your batch size, those of you that are familiar with loading into Elastic, you, you know that the batch size is important, how much, or, you know, roughly want to be around 5 megabytes. So that's it. Now, let me just quickly show you what I had to do on the Databricks side to make sure this library is available. So 
go to that. So I do that by going over to the compute side. So if I click on compute, click on my cluster, click on libraries, and you can see here that I've already installed it, but I'll show you how I did that. So uh, you, you click on install new, and you can provide it the repo uh, coordinates, and here's the coordinates for org, elastic. Now you may not know this, right? You may not know the exact coordinates here, which is okay. So you go for search packages, and you query for, let me show you, uh, keep it simple. You just query for Elastic Search Spark and Maven. And over here, you, you see that it will give you the releases. And you can say, hey, I want to select this particular release of, of the package. So um, it gives you the Scala version and things like that. So pretty simple. So once you go and install that, uh, the, the, the org.elastic package will be available to you and you can run this sample. And again, the, what we reviewed today is using Azure Databricks Spark to load data or files that are on um, Azure Storage Blob and loading that data into Elastic Cloud at scale. It's incredibly simple, it's incredibly fast, and it's great for large data sets, right? If it's a simple file or small file, um, some may decide to use FileBeat or LogSize, which is fine, but I find even for all use cases for me personally, Spark is the way to go because it makes it super simple. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.